Well, hey, how you doing, folks? Welcome back. Today we got a Genie Pro screwdriver that will not shut off. Let me show you what I mean by will not shut off. So the door is in the open position. So if we just disconnect it, the machine starts taking off. If we press the limit, it shuts it off. Yeah, not supposed to do that. So let me show you how you fix this issue. First thing, you want to unplug the unit. So once you have the unit unplugged, you want to take yourself, uh, get yourself a quarter inch, either a bit like this on a screw gun or a quarter inch nut driver. Got it. You're going to take the lid off. Why? So you don't have to take the screws all the way out, just loosen them up a little bit, pull the cover off. So now that we have the cover off, we can see a circuit board, we can see a motor, or we can see a start capacitor right here. With this particular issue, I have found that Genies, if they have a bad start capacitor, that will happen. So right inside here, where I'm pointing out with my screwdriver. The end of the start capacitor has blown out. Damn! You can see that little hole right there. When the customer tried to run it, it shot out. This nasty stuff that's inside of here. So yeah, let's change out that start capacitor and let's see what happens. So I got my new start capacitor. As we can see, that little circle portion That's where it blows out. So this is a nice fresh one. So let's put this guy in here. So with this start capacitor, you're gonna notice there's four wires going into it. Two orange on top, two yellow at the bottom. You can see the, all this liquidy gunk stuff that it blows out. It's right there just hanging out on that wire. That's nasty. I like to get a pair of pliers or needle nose or something and just take these guys off of there. All right. There we have it. The wires are off. Take that quarter inch nut driver or drill that you have right underneath here is a screw. Just loosen it up. You don't have to take it out. Just loosen it up. Just like that. Slide that old start capacitor out. So there we can see it's blown out. Let's take your new capacitor. Let's put it right back in. There's no up or down or anything, just so you know. Just put it in there. Tighten it back down. Reconnect your four wires. All right, there we go. New start capacitor. So let's plug the machine back in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. All right, got the cover back on. Let's go ahead and disconnect it. Remember before we disconnected it and it would start running? Here we go. Hey, look at that. It's not running by itself. Wow. So let's engage it just like so. Let's go over here to the wall button and run it. All right. Doors open. Let's press the wall button again. Run it down. Bingo. There it is, so a bad start capacitor. And you can buy these start capacitors on Amazon. Just click in the description down below. Let's go ahead and run it back open. There it is. All right guys, so if your Genie is acting weird, not working properly, you might wanna check the start capacitor. Easy fix, 
just remember, unplug the unit. You don't want to get shocked. Hey, have a great day. Thanks for following along. Peace out, guys.